I want to share what I've learned so far troubleshooting my Tyro 79 uh, VTX uh, OSD display problems. And um, one of the things that I want to show is how the actual Tyro 79 flight control board is actually wired. Let's talk about that first. Uh, if you're looking, whatever transmitter you're using, um, the center pin here is connected to UR, uh, RX2 here. I checked that uh, with a multimeter. And what you have to do if you're going to use S bus, you have to bridge those two. If you're going to use P PPM or I bus or anything else, uh, you can uh, uh, bridge those two together. Then your, your transmitter will be connecting to RX2. Now, one thing that I've had a problem with is, again, my VTX display in OSD. It's been flickering. I uh, did some more checking, and the cable connector that comes with the Tyro 79 is here. And this is the pin out. Uh, there's a ground here. It's supposed to be 5 volts going out, but it's only 4.97 volts. This is the VTX uh, signal going out, and actually the end part of the VTX board. And what I found is that the OSD pin that's going to go to the VTX through the cable here, pin on fourth, the fourth pin over on here, is actually hardwired to TX2. I did a uh, multimeter and check for continuity, and those pins are the same. So, in effect, if you're going to be using the RX2, as your RSSI or transmitter signal, then it also is forcing you to share uh, your OSD or smart audio through this pin to the VTX. And um, that gave me a lot of problems. So when I figured this out, what I did was actually, uh, was to use the uh, TX1 pin here and I used that for the OSD, and I had to rewire from this cable harness because it's hardwired here. There's no doubt about that. And if you notice, there's no pin here for OSD. They got one for ground. They've got one for video in, 5 volts uh, out, 724 volts in, is something called, uh, I think, CHDPDF, and I have no idea what that is. I've been doing research. If you guys know, uh, comment me back on that. So what I had to do was to uh, cut the wire here that's going here and reroute the wire here. And then I was able to go into beta flight and select smart audio. Because before, with it wired without this, going this way, I could not, configure beta flight with smart audio it just did not work so just be aware of that also um, since i was only getting 4.97 volts out to the flight for to the vtx car which takes in 7 to 24 volts what i actually did was got a voltage regulator and i connected it up to the the battery and set it for i think it was 8.94 volts i think that's what People suggest you set that to, and now I'm running my voltage directly to this pin here. So in effect, what I've got right now is that I've got this pin and this pin for power coming from a a uh, a power from from the battery regulator, and in the VTX signal coming in. I went to the VTX. Uh, I think it's on the other side of the board here. The VTX out to here i ran another cable or a piece of wire from there and since there was no pin here what i had to do was you still use this connector but clip the wire and then run that wire over to the rs to the tx1 and then it would it was configured by beta flight i hope that makes sense if it's not uh, leave me some comments here uh it this is this solved uh, one of my problems, and I've had multiple problems with this build. Uh, one of the problems was that I didn't have a good uh, receiver, uh, transmitter receiver. Uh, I was using a FRI 14 plus, and it was just bad, so I replaced that and fixed that problem. 
the camera was out of focus. I had to refocus the camera to fix that problem. And uh, once I did this rewiring here and uh, went back into beta flight and used uh, the TX1 uh, smart audio, that's fixed that problem. Now, I still got a lot of flickering going on still in my display. I'm not sure if it's the camera, the VTX board, or the capacitor that came with it. It was only like 150 microfarads. I ordered another capacitor with 1,000 microfarad. I'm probably going to put that in just to see if it helps out. And then uh, you can kind of uh, see where I'm going to go from there. And uh, coming up is a video of after I've rewired this, you can see compared to my previous videos, uh, this this OSD is a lot better now. And uh, matter of fact, uh, what I am able to do now in OSD is actually change uh, the, uh, the VTX, uh, uh, channel and frequency before I could not do that. So now I can change the frequency and the channel, uh, and it works great now. So I might include a video to show that too. So, I uh, hope this helped. And again, um, if you got any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. Thanks.